So, it seems our royal friend has been making waves again. Seems he's on a one-man mission to dispel that stereotype that Canadians are nice people. But yes, I didn't want to have to talk about this again, but I've been inundated with people sending me links. Well, about 12. To an Instagram Live video that he did, which is quite shocking and controversial. I guess because people think I've made a video criticising him in the past that they think that I will be interested in this type of thing and I'm really not interested because I've unsubscribed from him long ago and stopped following what he did but the sheer volume of people asking me what my response was going to be um, made me have a look at it and yeah, it's quite something else. I'll put some of the, the clips towards the end of this video so you can have a look for yourself and form your own opinion because I'm not here to change your mind. I just thought it's some quite vile and disgusting behaviour and language and thought processes behind some of that. Yeah, it's not good. But I also have a kind of early warning system in my analytics within YouTube where I look at one of my videos of me criticising him a year or so ago um, where the stats started to rise and I thought, hmm, something clearly going on here. So, to answer the questions, um, yes, I'll tell you what I think. I think it's only fair to say that I'm not his biggest fan in the first place. Um, he seems to have a problem with criticism and has been quite rude and threatening towards me in the past as well. Um, all water off a duck's back when it comes from that kind of place. But I'll, I shall tell you what I think. The guy's got many problems, not least his ego, um, but this really takes the biscuit. So the long and the short of it is he did an Instagram live and he invited some people on who he called trolls. And one of these trolls was a young kid, well, young kid, I think he was about 17 according to all reports. Um, and his trolling was telling him to go to bed because it was five o'clock in the morning or something like that. So not really trolling by any stretch of the definition and Joy laid into this kid with some really vile and disgusting comments. His defence, uh, in the Instagram post later the next day I think it was, was that this was all taken out of context. And it was. Um, but it's very hard to put it in context when he's been spending his time deleting all the videos and all the, the content out there where you can put it back into context. Um, and I can't imagine what context would make this acceptable in any way. Um, the, out, the out of context defence, I mean, it, it's, it struggles to hold water. I mean, I will give him his due. I did see one of the clips, which I can't share with you now because it's been deleted, um, seemed to be the towards the end of that video where he was saying things like, well, this is what you're doing as a troll. I'm going to give as good as I get. Um, trolling is bad. And all those things are true, but two wrongs don't make a right, so why why troll someone harder to prove the trolling is bad? He seemed really proud of the fact that he was a really good troll as well, which is, just doesn't make sense. Um, there was another defence that oh, these guys are actually friends. He posted on his Instagram apparently that the guys were literally friends. Um, but one of the clips, he's clearly asking the kid what his name is. Now, I don't know about you, but I know my friends' names. I also don't talk to my friends like that, and they don't talk to me like that. Uh, and another one where, please stop bringing this up everyone, because you're not hurting Joey, you're hurting the kid. So the reason I decided to make a video about this and talk about it, other than the, the people asking me about it, is that this is a guy who is using the same platform as me, and is a figurehead for the hobby that I'm interested in. He claims to have inspired millions. He's, if he's the ambassador for my hobby, then I just don't think that that's right and he should be held to a higher standard than this. And if you're one of the people that's out defending him saying he didn't do anything wrong here, then I think you need to take a long hard look at yourself as well. Yes, there are groups out there that like to troll each other for sport. Um, I just don't think it has any place in this hobby. Like I said before, I can't conceive of a concept that would make it okay for a man to use that kind of language and that kind of vitriolic abuse against a young man. Um, it just doesn't make sense. There was another video where it was someone who was a bit older and he went after this guy calling his wife a whale. It's easy to criticise him when he does something like that and it's it's quite shameful behaviour really, but I'm not here to tell you to go and unsubscribe to him. I'm not a competitor of his. Unsubscribing from Joey and subscribing to anyone else isn't going to make a huge amount of difference, but you need to think, do you want that as the, the spearhead for 
our hobby for the, the platform of YouTube. Is, is that the guy we want to be at the top? People that, that talks to people like that? To talk to his fans like that? There's an easy way out of it and it's to apologise. It's not to start blaming everyone else. It's not to start backpedalling and backtracking and deleting and all the other things that he's currently doing. Um, yeah, shameful. I mean, he does have this kind of weird obsession that his subscriber count gives him some kind of validity as a good person. And he will often call on how popular he is and how long he's been doing this, as if that excuses behaviour like this in some way, which it just it doesn't, unless that, that is the thinking of a psychopath. But in defence of Joey, I think the point he was trying to make is actually valid. He was trying to make a point that trolls are bad. Um, I'm a bit worried that he doesn't understand what a troll is. That, I think that's the problem there. And the way to deal with trolls is not to become a bigger troll. That, that just doesn't make sense. So don't go and give him a load of hate about this. Um, if you enjoy his content and don't care that he's a bit of an asshat, carry on enjoying his content. Um, I don't think it benefits anyone to start trolling him more. Um, I know a lot of his minions will be watching this video and ready to comment down below. Now, if you don't like it, just don't watch it. Back at you. If you don't like this, don't watch it. You're the one that's commenting on someone else's video about how much it upsets you, so take a long hard look at yourself, mate. And no, nobody likes the drama, but you know, we're in lockdown, got to get content somehow. I choose not to abuse all the people that watch my videos. He goes another way, what can you say? Anyway, thanks for watching. You can stop sending me links to this video now. I've seen it, I've made my response. I don't want to talk about it again. Good luck, enjoy yourselves, stay safe. Bye bye. So it was this point that I was planning to put in some of the clips of some of the really vile and horrible stuff that he was saying to these people. But surprise, surprise, most of them have been taken down. I will include some links to some of the videos that are still around down below. Some of the people that have made videos about what he has said. Uh, but if they're not there anymore, then what can you do? You can choose to believe his side of the story, that this is all just a big misunderstanding, or you can take the word of the many dozens and dozens of people that did see the video and were outraged and horrified by some of the things he was saying, or some of the homophobic rants, some of the body shaming that was going on, and just terribly atrocious behaviour in general. Um, take from that what you will. Um, 